Here's a real quick satellite view of the roads that are flooding in my area. This is the Comet River up here that's overflowing. The creeks are overflowing. Jones Creek, Ward's Creek. This is Flannery. Comet River, Flannery. They're already evacuating people here. This is Sherwood Forest, a little bit further down the boulevard. People are seeing water in their yards and about a foot on Goodwood Boulevard creeping down. Now next down here is Broadmoor. That little blue dot, that's my house. My fingers are crossed. Right down the boulevard here. Now I have to go evacuate someone in Sherwood. They're getting nervous. They're older people. And the water's in their yard. And I'll probably bring them to my mom's garage. Be safe. Here's some people from the nursing home near Flannery that have to be evacuated. Right down the street. Even the alligator says, too much. I need a break. They're launching boats from the interstate to help people evacuate the O'Neill Lane area. That's closer to the Amit River. The sun came out. That will help. This is a mile from my house. There's a couple of evacuation buses. Well, three. Oh, and this creek. I have never seen it this. This is Jones Creek. Up to the top of the bank. Okay, I'm on Goodwood Boulevard, and it seems we're at the point where the water's coming down the boulevard. And a lot of cars are parked out here in the median and on the side of the road here. People turning around. Never seen it this high like this. A lot of people out with their dogs. A lot of canoes, boats, four-wheelers. Never seen water that far down Goodwood Boulevard. Flooded that way too. That's Molly Lee. The water is creeping from Flannery Road. Never seen it that far down the boulevard like that. This is one subdivision over, and there are people out with their travel bags and their dogs. Apparently, they've been flooded out. I'm gonna go check that little creek near my house. Look at that, all under. Historic levels right here, that's a little creek. I had a contractor in front of me already assessing the damage. <laughs> They're going to be busy for a long time. Tragedy for some is a payday for others. Now this little creek by my house, it's coming into the yard. It's overflowing into the park. Never have I seen it like this. The park is underwater. This is Jones Creek. Overflowing. Let's go see. This is a softball field. And again, I have never seen the water this high. 
And I think all the homes behind there might have a flooding problem. Well, it seems that it was a close call for my area, my immediate area, because there's evacuations going on in the next neighborhood over. There's helicopters, boats, canoes, four-wheelers, you name it. I feel very fortunate. I can't even get to the creek. It's, the banks are overflowing. Lee has disappeared. I think he's after that wildcat that stays in this area. He chased it up that branch one time. There he is. I'm not even worried about Lee going after that dog that's barking. <laughs> that river is, uh, I don't know, 150 feet wide right now. But when it's not flooded, he has jumped the creek and gone after the dogs in that subdivision. Was it fun trying to get him back? Because he really likes the to get after those little small yapper dogs. I don't know what he's gonna do if he catches one, but. I better get him, he, he might not be aware of that current. This is the closest that I can get to the creek. That tree line right there, that's the top of the banks that never sees water. Never. Ant seeking higher ground. Everything's flooded out, even the spiders. Look at this, a current right in the middle of this field. I hear helicopters, but I have to save some beetles. I left out helicopter rescue. It's that time. Oh, I can see the current through here of the creek. I'm zoomed all the way out. Hope you can see that. That's a first and only, probably. Lee better not go in there. More ants. There's a man and his wiener dog that came to check out the flood. I'm not sure what Lee will want to do with that wiener dog. Better not take any chances. They're sandbagging, filling sandbags at the fire station. And I'm one subdivision over. Very lucky. See how high this road is right here? And it goes down like that? I don't think the water will cross this sharp road right here. River is that way. My house is that way. Now if that water crosses this high road, it starts coming down here, then it might be a problem. High water. This is water across I-12.
They're asking for volunteers with boats. They've had people in the O'Neill area that have been stranded since 9 o'clock yesterday morning that are just coming out of there. Bayous and creeks to swell in East Baton Rouge, Livingston, and Ascension. Houses underwater in Baker. Water flowing over the road at O'Neill Lane. More volunteers are showing up with boats in the O'Neill area. A lot of people still stranded out there since yesterday morning. Even more people showing up with their boats and trailers. And good old guys, man. It really warms my heart. They're ready to help. Convoys showing up to bring supplies to those people in the O'Neill area. Here's some of the evacuations. National Guard showing up. This is Florida at Sherwood, one subdivision over. Flood from the Amit River. They have airboats out there. One big mess. At least the sun came out. Now I can't even go to the next subdivision. The water has come up a lot since this morning, like a half a mile. This road is the last line of defense from this neighborhood over here. Filling sandbags. Okay, now this has come up a lot since this morning. You'll see it the first part of the video. Now this whole yard is under, that's right next to the park. And at this point, we're about three feet from coming up on Sharp Road. Well, it's on Sharp Road now, right here at the bridge. Ooh, not good. Not good. About to breach Sharp Road. Well, it has. It's not subsiding just yet. A lot of rescue still going on. closed. Now the water just blocks away. Getting a little scared. Keep an eye on it. There's a rescue boat right there. Emergency response. Well that's odd. Little Caesars is closed and Jack in the Box is not taking orders. 
Did they get wiped out? Third place that's closed. No food. Hmm. Now this store, this machine is down. Can't take any credit cards. So I'm going to stop by and get some cash. Hopefully the ATM is working. Now look at this line of cars. What's going on? Is this an evacuation right near my house? I'm just gonna go home. I was gonna go check, but it's too hectic down there. I hope the water's not coming in on us. Guy got stuck trying to pull a bolt. Trying to cut through a muddy area. Ain't going nowhere. Helicopter rescue.